show. One card at a time can really change the Hi, way everyone. we live. Welcome back to Be Creative Stamping. Today I have a really fun treat for you that I created using the sweet cups that are located in our occasions catalog. This gift right here was a pillow gift for my Stampin' Up! Bingo attendees just a few days ago. Before we get started, let's first look at where you can find these sweet cups. It has a bottom and a top, and they're packaged together in a box, and they're right here on page 15 of the 2019 Occasions Catalog. And so it's part of the How Sweet It Is Sweet. And again, there are 10 cups in the package, and it's $8.50. We're going to also use several celebration products today. They're only available until this Sunday, March 31st. So be sure to check that out in my online store. We're going to stamp with Painted Seasons, and we're going to use this flower image right here. And we are going to use this designer paper. It's the Painted Seasons designer paper. It does coordinate with the stamp set. This is free with a $50 purchase in my online store. And so now you're seeing all the designer paper that comes in this package. Now, if you decide that you want the designer series paper and the stamp set, you can bundle these spend $100 in my online store, and both of these are free to you. To get started, you are going to need this template. If you're on YouTube right now, look under my video and click the words Show More. In that post, you're going to see a link that will take you to this blog post. And at the bottom of the post, you're going to find a file that you can download and print. I'll remind you of that at the end of the video as well. All right, so what I usually do with the template is to go ahead and cut it out, which is what I've done here. And I usually lay this on top of the designer paper and I take a pencil and I just trace all the way around. And then after that, I'll take my paper snips and I will go ahead and cut it along those pencil lines. So this is what your designer paper is going to look like after you've cut it out. I like to use Air Tombow liquid glue for this project. And so I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off. And I like to start at the seam of the cup. And so I am going to add some Tombow glue right along the cup. But I'm not going to cover the whole thing because if I do that, then it's really hard for me to even touch it without getting super sticky. So I've done a portion of the cup. And now I am going to take the designer paper and again, I line it up with the seam of the cup. And so now I'm just going to roll this to get it to stick. And it only takes a few minutes for this to dry, okay? So, so far, not too much mess. I'm sure you could also use tear and tape, but I have not tried that um, with this project. Now I'm ready to add a little more liquid glue to get that designer paper to adhere. And I will continue to wrap this around the cup. Now the one thing that I really like about using the Tombow is I have wiggle room. So if I need to move this designer paper a little, it's going to allow me to do that. Um, if I use tear and tape, it's not going to allow me to do that. So as you can see, I can kind of work the area as I adhere the designer paper to the cup. And now we're over here at the very end. So again, I'm going to do this again. 
This is the third time that I'm doing a section, or it's the third section, and I'm going to put some Tombow right along here. And this piece over here is gonna overlap a little bit. And so I'm just gonna put a little bit there at the end. And now at this point, I am ready to adhere. And you can see that I was pushing up on that designer paper. And even if I don't get it right up under that seam, it's okay because the lid is going to cover that. All right? All right. So again, right around here, um, I didn't do so well cutting out my pattern, but it's going to work out fine because the lid will definitely cover it. Now that I have this extra liquid glue right here, I'm just going to take a wet paper towel and I'm just going to rub the seam and get the glue off of that. Now you're going to notice that I've got designer paper over here hanging off the cup. And so at this point, I like to take my paper snips and just put the blade right up against the cup and trim just right along there, okay? And so you may find that you need to do that as well. And that's a pretty simple thing to do. So now, the bottom is complete. Now we're ready to embellish the lid of the container. And so I've already taken the time and picked out this uh, designer paper. It's actually the back. And we're gonna use the mushrooms. And I used a circle framelit to cut this out. Now, if you've been in Stampin' Up! Um, as long as I have, which is about 11 years, you probably have the Circles collection. This is a retired collection, and I decided to go with this circle because it fit perfectly inside the lid. But if you don't have these, check out which circle punches you have. And also, you can use layering circles. It'll only be a tad bit smaller than the lid. So you could use this one from layering circles, which is the largest one, and that will work just as well, okay? But if you had the retired set, that is what I used. Okay, so now if I can get this paper up. Here we, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and put some Tombow on this as well. This is pretty much um, the adhesive that I used for the entire project. All right. All right, now I'm gonna flip this back over and I'm just gonna lay this in the lid of the cup. All right, and this will just take a few minutes to dry. Okay, we're going to use a scallop circle as well to put on top. And this did come from layering circles, okay? So I'm not sure if I'll be able to tell you which one it is. It's uh, this one actually right here, but that really does not tell you a whole lot. So you're gonna have to ex uh, experiment to figure out which scallop circle that you want to use with this. I chose this size because I wanted some words on top. And so um, I needed a, you know, a certain size to get words on here. Okay. So now we're just gonna use some Tombow here. You could certainly use Snail if you want. All right. And then we're gonna lift this up and I just centered this just like this, okay? So you're just going to center it in there and let it dry. And now we're going to do some stamping. And so with the stamping, I've chosen another uh, stamp set that's a celebration offering. It's called All Adorned. This stamp set is free with a $50 purchase in my online store. Remember, deadline is this Sunday, March 31st, 2019. I'm going to use um, this greeting. You're pretty much the best 
ever. And I'm going to do that in uh, Poppy Parade. So I'm going to ink this up. And this is just scrap paper right here, okay? And let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it. All right. And I'm going to use the two and quarter inch circle punch to punch this out. Now I chose this punch because I knew it would fit the words that I wanted to use. And I also knew that it would co coordinate with the scallop circle. So I think this is something you're just gonna have to play around with to decide uh, which of the layering circles that you want to use. Okay, now we're ready for some flowers. And I'm going to use the Mango Melody. And I've already shown you the flower. It's from Painted Seasons. So here it is. And I'm just gonna stamp around the edges. Just like that. Uh, you know what? I think I'll even put one more. Okay. And it's stuck on the glue that's on the mat. Hang on. Okay. All right. So we're going to pop this up. And pull the paper off. All right. And we're just going to center this right along here, okay? Now we're gonna add a few butterflies just because they look super sweet when they're inside of this little dome, okay? And this is another celebration product. This is Botanical Butterfly Designer Paper. And this is just one of the many sheets in the pack. And it actually coordinates with the butterfly duet punch which is right here and by the way this is coming back it's been on back order but it should be available the very first part of april 2019 okay this small butterfly punches this butterfly out perfectly now i've already chosen my butterflies they're right here and i am going to use a post-it and I'm just gonna add that post-it right there. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I have can extend the paper into the punch. So there we go, that's our first butterfly. And I can actually reuse the post-it note as well. And here is the second butterfly. And you can stick it anywhere on the sticky part. All right, and then here I'm going to use a glue dot to attach the butterflies. So we'll put one here. And then we'll put one down here, okay? Just like now, that. Before I show you how to put the dome on, we're actually going to cover the side as well. Now, this is something that you certainly don't have to do. You can leave it, but I love the way it turns out when you add the cardstock. And so the measurement for this cardstock is a half an inch by 11 inches, okay? And we're going to go about this the very same way. We're going to use Tombow. And again, I'll start at the seam. You could certainly try um, the tear and tape here. And I'm just gonna kind of put it in the middle. This piece, this strip, is a little trickier to, um, to apply, okay, than the designer paper was. So I'm going to start here. And I'm right here at the seam. I'm gonna try and hold that in place because it's very slippery right now. And then I'm going to start wrapping, okay? I'm gonna hold that a few minutes until that glue decides to hold it, okay? Or adhere to it. All right. And so now we're ready to add a little bit more 
And I just kind of add it in the middle because it's going to get squeezed out on both sides. And I'm going to hold that a few minutes. And then we're going to finish it off. And you will find that this 11 inch strip fits the lid perfectly. And they will both meet at the seams. So each end, they end up meeting up again right at the seam. And I'm going to hold that just a few minutes until it dries. And then I can wipe the, um, the that extra glue that is sitting there. And I'm just going to use a wet paper towel to do that. And then I can stick this on top. And you can see the difference once the colorful strip is added. We're now ready to add this dome. And so I do want to tell you a few things about this. I was able to find these on Amazon. And they're actually, they're used at Christmas time um, to create Christmas ornaments. And you put two of these together. You, you fill the ornament and close it. And then you can tie a ribbon and hang it on the tree. So that's what they're called. Um, I will have a link, an Amazon link, as to which ones I purchased. And so that you can purchase um, the very same size. I'll make, I'll make sure that I put all the details there. We only need one of these. And so what we're going to do is we're going to break off this part here. And so you just want to do it gently, just like that, and just kind of push it down, okay? Just push it down. And again, if you're on YouTube, go to Show More, um, look at the links to the blog post, and you're going to find all the information there that you need. Okay, so I'm going to use the hot glue gun for this. Um, I didn't try the Tombow, so I can't tell you how that works. Um, but I did use just a little bit of hot glue, and we're just going to put it on the edges here. And I've already taken the time to kind of heat up the glue gun. And so now we're ready to get started. And you know what? I think I'm going to need a glue stick. Hang on one second. Okay. Alrighty, and I'm just going to apply the hot glue all the way around the edge of this. And you do have enough time to do this and stick it to the lid without it drying before you finish. Got to push that glue stick down a little bit. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to go around the edge like this all the way around. I'm sure you could use a heavy tacky kind of glue to get the same um, effect. And now all I have to do is sit this in here. And as you can see, it fits perfectly and you've got a tiny bit of wiggle room if you need it, okay? I was able to just kind of slide that over to where I need it and it instantly adheres. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Again, head on over to my blog if you're not there. Pick up the template. Pick up the Amazon link to purchase these. You can purchase all of the Stampin' Up! products in my online store just by typing in this URL address. Use the hostess code here for the month of March 2019. Thanks so much for joining me today, and thanks for buzzing by. One card at a time can really change the way we live. Focused on the sharing. And the chance we have